Hello everyone, saw so the first trailer for the new Mortal Kombat movie being coming out in April 16th of this year on HBO Max and a bunch of other rental services if you're not in the States and you got to use it that way or you're not, if you're like me, you're in Canada, you don't have access to HBO Max, but first trailer this is the red band trailer i'm just super excited for it i went through on my twitch all the character posts yesterday but let us see this movie in action let's get into it because i'm just so excited for it first learned about this seven years ago on a mission in brazil to capture a wanted fugitive Ooh, subby when we got there it tore through our unit in seconds <laughs> that's awesome Oh, so Sub is the one who has superhuman abilities. Sub is the one who destroys Jax's arms. Okay. It had the same marking you do, Cole. It's a birthmark. What do you mean? He was born with it. It's not a birthmark, Cole. It means you've been chosen. Like I said, I think that Cole Young is going to turn into Johnny Cage. Reference a great tournament champions that dragon marking i think it's an invitation yeah, it's a scorpion to fight for something known nice as mortal combat these are your champions i'm sonia that's kano i'm luke thanks jax Oh, he's gonna crush that dude's head. The fate of Earth is in our hands. No matter how many of my people you put in the ground. I love the special effects. Ooh. We will not fail. Molina's looking crazy. Shao Kahn. Yo, Goro. to the get over here. How can you not have that in the trailer? Kano wins. You fucking beauty. Jeez. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna run that back, but we got quite a good look at all the fatalities that are gonna be in this movie, and it looks like a lot of them. So, one I wanna say is that's absolutely gorgeous how he freezes all the bullets there. Like, I absolutely love that shot so investigating probably maybe portals that take you to the nether realm or take you to shanksen's temple is what they're doing black market fighting so that's why Jax is there at least that's what i think they're going to do in the movie kind of like similar what they did in the first mortal kombat movie from the okay. 90s our unit in seconds. but as you can see he's the one who freezes Jax's arms and just absolutely obliterates them there and i want to say too I was a little nervous about the special effects, seeing some of the posters and some of the early stuff, but it actually looks very, very good and like not nothing cheesy, nothing bad, nothing like 90 CGI. It all looks very good, which makes me very excited for it. So they're doing a really good job with it. The target has superhuman abilities. So yeah, we got. Um, like I said, my theory in this is that eventually he's going to adopt the Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage moniker um Cole Young here but new character we'll see where they go with it but I think that would be really cool since he's kind of the only main character it seems at least from the original game is missing from this trailer um what do, you mean? what do we have next here there's a few other things that I want to talk about it means you've been chosen Throughout so yeah, we got a shot of Melina here, all making their travel. I'm guessing this looks like a Tarkatan, so Baraka's race. You just can't see the blades. Um, I don't know looking at that, but it looks like they're definitely in the nether realm in the background there. A great tournament. 
Champions. You got Raiden and Shang Tsung facing off there. A dragon marking. And then yeah, we get to see a bit of Scorpion in action here, so um we're gonna get a lot of his origin where um not Shang Tsung, but what's his name? Dickwad with the uh <laughs> the white skid. Um Quan Chi. So Quan Chi disguised himself as Sub Zero to murder his clan and get him into the Mortal Kombat tournaments and a bunch of other things. So we get to see a lot of Scorpion's origin here. Um, a really good movie that I would suggest checking out is Scorpion's Revenge, uh, Mortal Kombat Legends. It's an animated film that came out earlier last year, which is really good and explains what's going on here. But I'm glad that we get to see quite a bit of Scorpion's origin here, because it's well, it's very important in Mortal Kombat, and then. Yeah, some of the absolutely gruesome fatalities. With the whip. And April 16th is just about two months away. It's coming very quick. Yeah, Sonya versus Kano. Like I said, I'm not certain if they're going to kill off Kano in this first movie like they did in the original movies. But yeah, we get his laser eye here. I guess we'll see. Because, um... Sonia. I want to see. That's Kano. Yeah, he doesn't. Or I guess um, it might just be an eye that he has. I'm wondering how he lost it. I'm I'm starting to explain that. I don't know if he'll lose it in the tournaments, but we get the laser eye in this movie, which is gonna be pretty Luke cool. Liu Kang, which is amazing. I'll definitely. Or who's he about to um? Thanks, Jax. Jax. Oh, I'm guessing it's just some random combat that he's going against, but this dude's head is going to get absolutely smushed with those metal arms. It's, I think they look absolutely great and fantastic, his metal arms. They did a really good job with those. Looks like an absolute menace, and it doesn't look too CGI at all. It actually looks really, really good. That makes me happy. Kung Lao. Kung Lao. Can't wait to see him slice up some dudes with that hat. Lord Raiden. The Earth is in our hands. I like the voice too that he has, and just the powers look awesome. Well, he's a god, so they gotta look big and awesome. Yeah. I'm so excited just to see all that teleportation that Scorpion can pull off. And then, yeah, I want to talk about Melina a little bit. I was hoping to see a lot more of the menacing Tarkadon teeth, especially on the sides here, but... It looks like the actress is absolutely nailing the insanity and just she still looks terrifying and scary, but it's just not the normal Tarkan teeth that we're used to. Maybe, I don't know, they'll form in when she does her fatalities or anything along those lines, but still, she looks pretty menacing. We will not fail. And then, yes, so maybe in an after credit scene, I'm guessing, because this movie looks like it's going to be packed of a lot of things, but yep. There he is. <laughs> yeah, I really hope that Shao Kahn does make an appearance, but he looks absolutely massive. He's got the giant Warhammer. He's hoping he's the king of Netherrealm, so he wants to win this. I'm guessing they're going to do this as the last tournament Netherrealm has to win before they're able to basically storm all the other realms. But I'm guessing we'll see him in an after credit scene. That's my guess. But if we see him in the movie... I'm more than okay with that. Kill. Kill them. Yeah, Shang Tsung. I can't wait to hear the Your Soul is Mine at one point in the movie. Very happy too that we get to see the dragon come up here. I'm certain there's going to be a pretty wicked, nasty fatality with it, but it looks really lifelike. Goro, who I actually wasn't... I didn't know he was going to be in the movie, but he looks pretty good too. You could definitely tell it's CGI, but it's Goro. He looks exactly like how we all would have wanted him to. Just absolutely massive and muscular. The crazy centuries old dragon making his way back into the limelight of Mortal Kombat live action. Sub-Zero's powers look pretty amazing too. So I'm really excited to see them in... voice i absolutely love his mask too they did an amazing job i just want to give it an applause to how all the costumes look because it looks fantastic they did an amazing job with all the detail and these characters look like they're pulled straight out of the game 
the fights look really good. It all looks like it's filmed really well. Damn. And I love that too, how he freezes it and oh, use it as a knife. They're pulling out so many moves like just from the games too, which is so cool. But the fights look very, very well choreographed and how we all want them to. And then we're really close to all the fatalities here. Love it. <laughs> Let's see. If I could break it down quick and watch other fatalities. So, yeah, this is the dude who looks like he's gonna get his head smushed in by Jax with a big power slap. Oh. So that looks like Kano versus Reptile. Um. Melina. Ooh. There goes your side. And that looks like Reptile. Yes, it is. So, bit of a spoiler, I guess, but Kano kills off Reptile in this film, or at least someone from his race. But, geez, that is one big, scary looking beast of menace. And I love this. You fucking beauty. But yeah, definitely a red band trailer, and I'm certain there's going to be a lot more fatalities and a lot more blood and gore when we finally get this movie, but that looks absolutely fantastic, and I'm so excited for it. It does look like they're doing a really good job, they care a lot, and all of the, like I say, costumes, fatalities, effects, everything looks like it was pulled straight out of the game, and that makes me happy. I feel like this is going to be an absolute love letter to the fans in terms of the film. It, it just looks like everything you could want from a Mortal Kombat movie. Mortal Kombat movie and jeez I'm just so excited for it but please in the comments let me know what was your favorite part of this trailer what are your first thoughts about it how excited are you for Mortal Kombat coming out April 16th which is really really quick and I'm just very excited for that but of course if you like this video give it a thumbs up you can check out all of my other playlists down below trailer reactions down below in my plays you can also check out everything else that I do on the channel and on my twitch um, through the description down below. If you like what you see here, of course, subscribe, turn the ringer on if you want to know when I upload new videos. But awesome, guys, I cannot wait to watch this movie and just soak it all in because I love my Mortal Kombat. So until then, just take care and awesome, guys. <laughs>